spectrum of inflammatory bowel diseases, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are the two heavyweights. They share symptoms but are very different. A key distinction, ulcerative colitis is localized. It always starts in the rectum and then proceeds up the colon, uh, can involve part of the colon or the entire colon. In Crohn's disease, inflammation can occur anywhere along the digestive tract. Crohn's disease can affect the small intestine. Uh, then there's more issues with potentially malabsorption of nutrients. There's also something in the way they move. Ulcerative colitis progresses in a continuous fashion while Crohn's can skip around to other organs. It can create lesions and leave other tissue intact, leading to what doctors call a cobblestone pattern. Both these illnesses are autoimmune diseases, each characterized by chronic inflammation. We don't know what causes that. The theories are that it could be a virus or a bacteria maybe food antigens. The inflammation is responsible for the associated pains, cramps, diarrhea, and bleeding. Other symptoms are weight loss and fatigue. Treatments for both are meant to control inflammation. We have these newer medications which are given either by IV infusion or injection, and these are medicines that are uh, developed as antibodies against some of the factors that really promote that inflammation. Generally, we can get somebody completely in remission and maintain them in remission. Doctors believe patients with either form of bowel disease can lead a normal and productive life. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.